you know, uh, or you, you know, you could spray your car or the inside of your car. You might be amazed too to find that you can make uh, energy patterns that will remove smells. You know, uh, you can make energy patterns that can remove uh, all kinds of things. And so experiment with it and see what you can come up with. Uh, because you know it's a it's a huge open field which not a lot of people uh, have delved into. I mean, there's a lot of people that do dousing, but not like this. So I'm just gonna give it a little spray on my hand, or I could spray my face. You know, or just, as long as it comes into contact with anything, is the uh, is the case. It doesn't take much either because it's an energy pattern and you're not dealing with physical molecules other than the water which is being used as a carrier for the uh, for the energy pattern and so right now already I can feel some upliftment um, and I feel I feel pretty good so um, let's place some more energies on it okay? and, and again it doesn't have to be water in a spray bottle this could be a necklace that I wear all the time or a ring that I wear all the time, or a cuff link I wear all the time, or a coin that I carry with me all the time, or uh, it can, you know, my a certain particular set of clothes, or I can do all of my clothes at one time. Uh, I mean, it's just seemingly endless uh, things that you can do with this dousing technique. You know, I just like the little spray bottle of water, just my personal preference. Um, but let's place some more energies on it. Uh, to really enhance the uh, the properties of it, okay? Because I mean, we can also put energies of healing in it as well, okay? Energies of pain removal, you know, or uh, uh, any kind of thing you can really think of. So this time, I'm going to let the superconscious uh, choose what to put in it, because I am just a regular person and I don't know everything. So, and you heard it here on this videotape, I don't know everything. Uh, but it doesn't hurt to try. So with, uh, with this I'd say, you know, are the levels of joy still in the water? Okay, and I can gauge pretty much by how, how much of a reaction I get on a yes response at how strong the energies are inside the, uh, inside the water. So since I'm getting a relatively strong response, I can just base it strictly on that, that it's a relatively potent uh, energy pattern. So I simply ask the question, are there other energies that can be placed in the water to enhance the properties? And it's, it starts spinning. Rather than even say, yeah, it went right to work. And so there must be you know, quite a few energies that can be placed on this to enhance the, the function of the, uh, of the water. And by enhancing the function of the water, what I mean is, that I've given, I've given it uh, a mode of operation because I said it's an emotional thing and uh, I've, I've given it joy as a, as a base. So I would imagine that any of the energies that it's placing in it now would be along those similar lines. However, that is not necessarily always the case. But I know they will be positive in effect simply because that is my intention when I ask the question. All I want is positive energies. I don't want negative energies. There's plenty of negative energies floating around without me contributing to the cause. So apparently it is done. Okay, so now I'll ask the question again. Uh, can I raise these energies uh, that have been placed upon the water? Okay, I get a yes response. Okay, please raise these energies and enhance their strength and power. Okay, so I'm making a really potent uh, batch of something here. You know, but the thing is, it's just a positive, it's a general positive uh, spray. And so that's what I'm doing, just making a general positive spray to make me feel good. You know, I imagine it'll probably have some type of pain alleviation properties to it as well. Okay, and so that stops. Alright. Now, I'll go ahead and pick my bottle up again and it's really really tight now now the tightness may subside after a few hours maybe even a day or so and so it may not feel as firm this does not mean that what you have done to it has gone away okay 
it just it's calmed down right now everything's all excited and then and it's enhancing this thing everything's moving and so it needs a little room to move in a day or so this won't be the case everything will be kind of calmed down and it won't be as squishy as it was at first but it, it'll be somewhere between being really solid and dense and bloated and then being really light and uh, squishy so I'm gonna give this a spritz try this out definitely has a different feel to it Okay, it's not as harsh as the pure joy was and there's a lot of other energy patterns that I, I'm detecting right now in it but it, you know I don't know specifically what they are you know you can discern what they are if you wanted to take the time to do so however it feels good to actually open up my breathing a little bit so it must have some type of healing properties that are either uh, case specific to what I need or they must be good healing properties in general now again you can do this with anything you can do it with uh, any type of food like vitamin supplements or anything like that if you want to give them other properties or you want to enhance the properties that they already have you can raise those energies and by raising those energies they'll have more effect um, you can transfer uh, things or, or properties from one uh, object to another like for example if I had uh, if I had a blueberry okay I can take the the healing qualities of the blueberry like the antioxidants the energies of that and I could take that and I could place that in here and uh, done correctly if you have a healthy blueberry you'll actually see the blueberry get a little uh, withered looking it'll be less healthy looking than it was when you started and if not give it about 30 minutes and you can definitely tell a difference so you, know, you take all the nutrients from that and put it into that and you'll see that the nutrients have been removed and then you would take those nutrients and you would strengthen or enhance their properties you know uh, making them much stronger and by doing that uh, then you would have a nice spray that you could use you know but you can do that like I said with any type of uh, with any type of energy pattern and that's what we're dealing with here strictly energy based phenomenon so uh, I can I can check and see when the optimal time to use my spray like how long do I actually have to let it sit more than five minutes before it's optimally ready okay so yeah more than five minutes more than an hour okay more than 10 minutes okay more than 20 minutes okay more than 15 minutes about 15 minutes okay more than 12 minutes more than 13 minutes more than 14 minutes okay so I'm getting about 13 to 14 minutes uh, before this will be optimally ready to use but one more thing I have to do I want to make sure that the energy frequencies stay in here and so I'm going to lock their pattern into the water now what that means is that until this is used it will maintain and keep those energy patterns so can I lock these energy patterns into place okay I get a yes response okay please place the energies necessary to lock the energies in the bottle into place okay and so it starts spinning and it usually doesn't take long for this one and it doesn't this time either and so now uh, instead of having such a large field it, the field kind of shrinks and it, it makes like a energetic saran wrap around it so that uh, I mean even if I take the water and I pour it out of the bottle the energies will still stay until they come into contact with something where they can be used up so basically as long as as long as the water uh, is in the bottle and I use it to spray on stuff you know it'll enhance you know it'll stick the energies will stick to whatever I spray it to and they'll stay there so uh, until the uh, until the water evaporates and when the water that's what I'm trying to say really when the water evaporates then the energy patterns stay on whatever it was that was sprayed and uh, the water is then purified as it evaporates so it's not like what with whatever you're doing that is going to contaminate you know other other things so don't uh, 
you know, don't worry about that. It, you know, as soon as the water evaporates, it won't carry the energy pattern with it anymore.